Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and we are back with our supply ship, as you guys can see right here. This is uh, the last iteration that we actually ended up doing. We have changed the bridge from that to this. Uh, we've actually added some funnels to the top of the bridge as well. We've added also a mast on the top of that. Honestly, I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. What we need to do now is to actually add some engines to this. So I'm thinking we're going to go and add the engines towards the back so that we can somewhat level this thing out. Obviously, there's a lot going on at the front, not an awful lot going on at the back. So. Let's go ahead and shove some engines in this, and go from there. Okay, so we've got all of this room right here to actually uh, go with. Obviously, this right here is where the diving bell is, so we don't have to worry about that too much. What we do need to worry about is being able to actually get downstairs, uh, because uh, we need to know where the actual building is. The building is here, so obviously this bit at the front uh, needs sorting out. I would like to use as much of this space as possible, but also making it double thick makes sense too. Um, we've obviously got all of these doors right here as well, which means this is actually gonna be some sort of room. So we need to somewhat use this too. Anyway, let's go ahead and build this in. And um, yeah, we'll then start building the engines. Okay, so now when you go through this door, you'll actually end up in a room, which I have managed to paint all the right color, except this bit here right now, so we'll go ahead and paint those. Uh, and now it actually looks pretty good. Don't know whether we want to have any sort of windows in here, obviously it is quite low down. However, it is still above the waterline, so adding windows in here does still make sense. Hmm. Alright, well, doesn't really matter. Anyway, this right here is obviously the, um, the center of mass, so if that is above the deck, clearly we're gonna have some issues. Let's go down below and start building an engine, and hopefully it'll go well from there. Engine. I don't know what size engine to do. I never really do the 5x5s, they're just absolutely enormous, uh, but I feel like a 5x5 engine makes sense here. But no, I think we'll go for a 3x3 instead, um, and I'm sure that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and shove it in right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Maybe even seven. All right, so it's going to be seven cylinders. We're just going to go ahead and do the top, and that'll be it. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. I could do more, and in fact, actually, if I lifted this up... Oh, I'm not actually mirroring it. All right, let's go ahead and copy this to the other side first. Here we go, so copy. It is two away from the wall. There we go, paste it in. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab all of this and all of this down to there. And then we're gonna cut it. We're gonna move it up to the ceiling. There we go, we'll paste it in. And then we should be able to actually put these on the bottom as well. Here we go, so we can have another seven. That makes 14 cylinders per engine. And these things are massive, so that actually looks kind of cool. Oh, I need to do it on both sides. For some reason, I keep forgetting to mirror. Honestly, I don't build in this game very often anymore, so that makes sense. Anyway, this is going to be more than powerful enough to actually propel this ship around. Let's go ahead and merge this in. Oh, we can't even merge it in. All right, do this. Now merge it in. Uh, merge, yes. Merge and merge. There we go. Delete this, and there we go. So these are our engine blocks. They look very strange, but that's fine. All right, so since these guys are already attached together, we are gonna go ahead and attach both banks together as well. So what we need to do is grab a manifold of some sort, like one of these. Uh, we're gonna shove it on the rear, there we go. Shove it on that one, shove it on this one, and attach these guys together, just like this. And there you go. Now all we need to do is provide fuel to either the top or the bottom, and air, obviously, and exhaust, and then we're good. Awesome. All right, so one of the issues I think we're going to have is obviously I want the exhaust to come out the top right here. In order to do that, I need a pipe going straight down through there, all the way down through the floor, down through the floor again, and down through the floor again, and again, into here? Oh no, even further. <laughs> we need to go even further than that. There you go. And then that's going to have to go all the way back to the engines, which is all the way back there. Holy, that is actually really far. I'm also going to box this off as well, just because I can. Uh, and that's going to go all the way to there and all the way to there. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get a pipe from the funnel all the way at the top, all the way back to the engines, and we'll go from there. 
Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and shove these guys into here like this. Awesome. And then we'll just box all of this off like that. And that is good enough for me. So, uh, those guys, those guys, uh, do actually work. Yeah, each of these. Except that one on the end. That one doesn't work. So actually, let's make it work. Let's go ahead and shove this guy into here. And then we'll shove a pipe onto there. Just like this. There you go. And now each of these will actually emit the exhaust. Good. And there we go. So the pipes actually come all the way to the back and the exhaust is now connected. Should this be more than one pipe? I'm not entirely sure, but for now, I think that's fine. So we're going to need a fuel tank somewhere as well. I am thinking right here in the center makes sense for a fuel tank. So that's where we'll actually add it in. So let's get some white. There we go. We'll actually build this off to the side by about two. Sure. We'll build this back to here and we'll attach this together like that. There we go. And then I think we could probably get away with doing this. Whee! There we go. Nice. Uh, go ahead and shove these guys together right there. And then this guy could go all the way in. Just like this. And then obviously we need to fill that in at the top. Just like that. So there you go. Fuel tank has now been added. So, let's go ahead and delete this guy and this guy. Oh no, you know what? Let's do it on this end. So, delete this guy and this guy. Get ourselves a fluid meter. First of all. And then we're going to need more than that, aren't we? So fluid ports are going to go right here at the side. Uh, and I'm actually going to go and shove them in by one. That's okay. We then need like a spawner and a meter. So put that there. There we go. And we need the spawner as well. Yes. There we go. And then we are going to actually delete this. Have this go through the floor. There you go. Come over to here and go in through there. Okay. Pipes are needed. Yes. So that one obviously needs to go down. It then needs to go backwards. On this corner, it obviously needs to go sideways. And then this side, it needs to go up. Okay. Um, don't know how that's going to connect onto there. But I guess if we go to engine, we can actually just attach it straight on uh, with a fuel thing. Yeah, fuel manifold. Shove that onto there like this. And now, essentially, it is all connected. As long as we add the pipes back, obviously. So connect that one into there, and these ones into here. No pumps needed. Fantastic. Okay, so one of the next things that I want to do is actually delete the floor on this thing, which might seem like a very, very strange thing to do, but let's go ahead and try it anyway. So all of this down to there, go to weight. Here we go, weight blocks, very nice. Go ahead and make them white for now, and shove those guys into there. How much has that moved the actual thing? All right, so it's at the headrest right now. Let's continue this and see if we can lower it even further and bring it backwards even further. So do all of that. There we go. Attach all of this together like this. And let's see how low it is now. So it's going backwards and it is going down. But I don't think we need it to go backwards much further than that. So let's go to the other side of this. Here we go. Delete all of these out to there, pretty much. And do this go all the way back into there. Excellent. We might have some floating issues after this, but we'll see. All right, cool. It's getting there. It really is. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and do these guys down the sides right here. All the way down to there. Okay. And we're going to have to do even more than that. <laughs> There's so much of this needs doing. All right, there we go. That looks good. And then I think I might even continue it backwards even further. So do something along the lines of that. All right, cool. Where is it now? It's very close to the deck level but still higher than the waterline. Interesting. Okay, so let's go and drug this in so it's all the right color, and then actually spawn it in and see what it looks like. I'm really not sure if it'll look good, bad, ugly. I, I don't know. Oh, uh, look, it turns out. Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. What in the world? So I think we've made it slightly too heavy, obviously, because now it's actually very low. Because what we haven't taken into account is the fuel. Because obviously there's quite a lot of fuel on board. Let's go ahead and remove some of these. Let's go with like two. Backwards to around there. And then refill that in with these guys. Which obviously aren't weight blocks. And try that again. Here we go. So paint this. Good. Go again. There's going to be a lot of trial and error with this I think. But um, that'll be fine. Right, there we go. So it's spawned at the floor again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. That seems very strange. And now... There's still water on the deck. Hmm. Hmm. How do we solve this problem? 
Okay, so this is the situation we've got it in now, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna add some weight to the back, because obviously that's a little bit too high. But the rest of it actually appears to be working quite nicely. It is floating, it is just above the waterline. Uh, sorry, just below the waterline, so just below the deck. And, um, yeah, that actually seems to be working quite well. It also actually seems like it's sort of stable, which is quite nice too. Obviously, when a wave hits this, we're going to have some more issues. But, other than that, it looks pretty good. Yeah, so let's add a little bit of weight to the back. We can then make the engines work. And then as soon as we turn, obviously, we're going to have some issues there. We're going to have to have some stability control there. But that's fine. I think I have a microcontroller for that. Okay, so there we go. This is the extra weight we've added. Obviously, this is the weight that we had in there before. Let's go ahead and spawn it in again and see what this looks like now. I'm assuming it'll look okay, but I don't really know. Yep, so it's weighed down the back a little bit more, and I think it needs to go down even further, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm actually really pleased with the way this is floating now. None of those will actually float properly. Maybe the first one, but after the first one, none of those actually float. Um, properly. They will tip over because they're all top heavy, which makes sense because they're actually all very tall, but yeah. Anyway, um, this is looking pretty nice. Let's get the engine some air and then we'll add some running gear and then we'll get it going. Okay, so currently this is the air manifold right here. We are going to shove it straight into the wall, which may or may not make sense. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this guy right here like this. It's then going to go straight into there. This is then going to be deleted as it goes upwards. And essentially, this is going to be where we get our air from, just up here. Um, which, again, may or may not make sense. So, let's get ourselves a pipe, shove it on there like this. Hopefully, that's the right way around. It does actually appear to be very good. Let's go ahead and shove a pipe straight from there into here. It's going to be this color. And then, we obviously need a straight pipe from there going upwards. So, if we can, let's get it in white to begin with. We are obviously going to have to paint this, but that's fine. Uh, on multiple different places um, But yeah, that's okay. So grab ourselves the color shove that onto there shove all of this onto here very nice all of that onto there and We're actually gonna need a fluid pot on the top. Otherwise, obviously it won't work. So fluid pot right there Grab this shove that onto there. Excellent. I supply quite high above the deck so it should run uh, quite well so, we've got fuel, we've got air, we've got exhaust. We obviously need some coolant now, so we could use seawater as we've tried to use before. Um, or we could use like radiators somewhere, it depends. I kind of like the idea of having like little boxes on deck with radiators in. I think that'd be kind of cool, uh, but also kind of weird at the same time. I'm not sure. But anyway, we don't need to worry about that just yet. What we do need to worry about is engine stuff. We're obviously going to need one of these. There we go, so we can shove that onto there like this. Don't know which way round that's supposed to go. Is it different? I don't know. <laughs> Is that supposed to be different on each side? I have no idea. Um, wait. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, what I think we need to do is essentially grab one of these. So that guy is going to go on that side, obviously. We're then going to have a clutch on this side. 3x3 three three clutch. Shove that on there like that. And then we need to work it all out. So, we're going to need actually quite a lot of starters on this. Not going to lie. So, let's go and have one there, one there. And we'll do two on the bottom as well. Here we go. There we go. We're not going to do any coolant pumps or anything like that on this thing. Um, and we're not going to do any alternators because we're going to have uh, generators at the back. That makes sense. So, pipe. Here we go. We're just going to go ahead and have this go... Down, I guess? I don't know, where's the water line on this? Yeah, I mean, realistically, I think it should come out around here. So let's go ahead and delete that real quick. Have it go through there, and then we can line that up. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So have this get sent backwards. There we go. And actually, no, maybe we should have it go this height. Oh, it is this height. Excellent. Uh, ooh. Alright, okay. So I'm thinking... We actually send this through a straight pipe like this. Here we go, backwards to there. And then it'll turn from here. So actually we go this way once, and then we send it backwards from there out the back. Although that is gonna have to go down by one, which is fine, you know, that's okay. We could do that. Maybe it should go down by even more. 
because the propeller is going to be like sticking out by a lot here. Yeah, that ain't it. I don't know what to do here. So we'll angle it down. We'll have it go down like twice. One, two, and then we'll have it go actually just once. We'll then have it go backwards from there, just like this. And then maybe the propeller will actually look okay there. We can then actually send this guy in to here, just like this. Delete that guy, do this, and that might look okay. I don't know, I feel like it looks fine like that. But we need to make sure the propeller actually fits. So, large propeller, yep. Oh, it does. Okay, that's fine then. <laughs> that's fine, there you go, we got some propellers on the back. Sure. And there we go, so I've ended up painting all of it, except this bit right here, of course. There we go. Uh, that bit's painted, all of the inside's painted, that's fine. So that is where it is going to run from. We are going to have to delete this guy, and we're going to have to delete this guy, because we need to shove some angles in there. Pipes, please, yes. Shove that guy into there like that, good. This one needs to go in here like this, good. This one, obviously needs to drop it down and send it backwards. And then that one needs to go backwards like that. There we go. So it is all actually connected together now. If we want to run this engine, it will actually propel us forwards. Sort of. We've got no gearboxes. Uh, a gearbox would actually be perfect for this. So let's go ahead and shove that into there like this, I guess. And we'll have two of those. Why not? Uh, this is going to be 3 to 1, and this is going to be 3 to 1 as well. Okay, we're going to have another gearbox, and that's going to be our reverse gear. Although we probably don't want to be going that fast. So there we go. When we change it, that's going to reverse us. When we change it, that's going to reverse us. This one's going to be maximum. This one's going to be maximum. And there we go. All right, cool. Yeah, doesn't look too bad now. Uh, the other thing that I wouldn't mind doing, that I actually kind of want to do, is case this in... Uh, maybe not this green, but like... The same color we've got on the deck. Here we go. It's going to go down there. And we are going to essentially turn this into... Uh, I don't know, like a crankshaft thingamabobby. Not a crankshaft. That is obviously not the right word. Uh, a prop shaft. So that's going to go there. Uh, we're going to do the same on this side, obviously, straight into the wall. Uh, and maybe this looks okay, but at the same time, obviously, uh, it probably doesn't. So there we go. Right, good. We've got all of that on there. Uh, it looks very weird coming out of there and doing this, but that's fine. I could move this up and actually have it come straight out of the engine, but we're not going to do that. So, uh, we are going to need a generator somewhere, I think. Actually adding a generator somewhere along the top of this makes sense. And I'm guessing a big beefy one would be fine. However, it is too tall. So we're going to go with two medium generators. One's going to go right here, and one's going to go right here. Alright. If we can get to the inside of this, I can obviously pipe that up if we need to. So do this, and do this. And we're going to need a clutch after all of this. So, pipe is going to go down, obviously, like that, there we go, and down from there as well, excellent, we're then going to need one of these guys to attach it all together, there we go, and there we go, and then do you just block it off, sure, um, from there we're going to go backwards this way, we're going to get ourselves a clutch, and we're going to shove it straight into there, yeah, alright good, I'm happy with this, we're fine now, we've sorted it all out, and we are good to go. Alright, so we are going to need a helm. Let's go ahead and shove one of those in the bridge straight away. It's just going to go right here in the center, uh, just like that. And we're going to need a throttle uh, in order to make this work, I suppose. Uh, and I kind of want to have it there like that. There we go. So let's go ahead and shove this down to the engines. Oh, you know what? I need the microcontroller and everything. Alright, we won't do that just yet, actually. We'll get it running next time. How about that? Um, but we do need to see if the engines actually do run, don't we? That looks pretty good, though. That looks really good. I'm really happy with that. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking for the coolant, by the way. We will actually put it on the deck. I think that would be quite nice. Uh, and obviously the engines do need to be working. And at the minute, we've got pretty much everything set up except the coolant. So, I guess we could put the microcontroller in. Let's just do it. Okay, so I've grabbed a microcontroller from one of my previous things, and we're going to go ahead and obviously put it onto each of these. It does mean I'm going to have to spend ages <laughs> going through all of this. I say ages, it doesn't actually take that long. Air throttle is right there, fuel throttle is right there. We then need to connect this to the RPS, and that one needs to go to the throttle input, which is just up there. 
Uh, we can then connect that down to this one, and we will be good to go very, very soon. So air throttle is this one, fuel throttle is this one, and we need to connect a key to this as well. So, how about we put the key up here? Key, yes. Shove that back there, and I guess both engines will be started by these. So we'll actually send this one down to this side, and then this one is going to go up to the other side. There we go. So start engine on the left, start engine on the right, and throttle for both engines. Although maybe we could have a throttle for each of them. That could be kind of cool. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we just need to see if they work, so spawn it in. We'll give it infinite electricity, and we'll go from there. So, uh, infinite electricity is already on, obviously, because all the lights are working. Let's get inside, do this, and this, and this. And they don't work. Why are they not working? Let's go check. Do 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 do. Uh, exhaust is zero, but that's zero because it's not burning anything, maybe? Is there fuel actually going into this? I guess so. There's air. There's air, there's fuel. That's all you need. Unless the crank isn't working, because we can't crank it over. Maybe that's the case. Okay, so I added two more starters, and now it is actually totally working. That is fantastic. Uh, I currently have no way of actually making this move, because the clutch isn't actually connected together. But the engines themselves are actually working. Pretty weirdly, but they are working indeed. So yeah, I just added two starters on this side, and that has totally worked out. Fantastic. Nice. Yeah, so this thing is coming along. We need a way of getting down here very soon. Uh, we obviously need a way of getting into the bridge as well, because currently there's no way in. Uh, but overall, this is pretty awesome. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, anyway, for now, I'm going to end this video here. In the next one, we obviously need to add some sort of um, heat exchange thingamabobby for the engines, some coolant. And we'll probably test this thing moving, uh, as well as giving it rudders as well, because obviously it needs those. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.